Hello. So you are working on a project and suddenly there is a bolt or nut that must be tightened with a specific torque. You have a torque wrench, but the problem is that the nut is hidden in a way that the wrench can't reach it. Or it is a flare nut. When we check the owner's manual for the wrench, there are instructions how to cope with this problem. You can use extension as simple as this one or another design for this purpose. But using extension, we have to calculate the torque that we apply to the bolt. On the other hand, if we are familiar with physics and loss of lever, we can avoid doing calculations altogether. You can hate math, but you will love physics. The force applied to the bolt, or not, will depend on the distance between fulcrum and the point where we apply the force. So when we set our extension at 90 degrees to the wrench, we don't have to calculate anything. In this case, the torque applied to the bolt, or not, is exactly what is set on the wrench. 90 degrees and we don't need calculations. Sweet. But in some situations, we may need the formula for extension. For example, when we cannot reach the bolt nut with our extension set at 90 degrees. Another case could be that we run out of the wrench capacity and need some extra torque. Let's say the wrench goes up to 100 foot-pound and we need 110 foot-pound. We can use extension and calculations to save the day. How does it work? We have formula TW, which is torque set on the wrench, equals TE, which is torque applied to the bolt, multiplied by L, which is length of the wrench, divided by L plus extension. We need to solve for the torque value on the wrench, TW, that will provide torque to the nut, bolt, TE, that depends on the length of the wrench and extension. The problem is that adjusting the wrench to the specific torque value, TW, we change the length of the wrench. The handle moves in and out on the wrench. In this case, we have equation with two unknowns, TW and L. By trial and error, we can find the torque value we are looking for using transformed formula. TE, which is torque applied to the bolt nut, equals TW, which is torque set on the wrench, L plus E divided by L where there is only one unknown. For example, I have the wrench set to 14.75 foot-pound. L is 9.6 inches. The distance L we measure between the axis of rotation of the wrench and the middle of the handle where we apply force. The distance E is measured between the axis of rotation of the bolt or not, and the axis of rotation of the wrench that is actually not rotating with the extension. And E is 1.1 inch. Then, the torque applied to the bolt nut is 16.37 foot-pound. If we need 18 foot-pound applied on the bolt nut, then we try another setup until we get to the right value. By the way, when we use extension on the wrench along the axis of rotation, then we don't change the torque value.
Another important thing is that we hold the wrench with one hand only by the handle. Helping yourself with another hand, we will affect the torque. When you are done using the wrench, don't forget to set lowest torque value to relieve the tension on the mechanism.